Hey guys, and it's Ben, and welcome back to another Bucket Program Tutorial, episode 73. And this episode, we're going to be looking at saving and loading objects. So stuff like hash maps, lists, array lists, saving them to files, and then loading them back from files. Um, and with that, we can create something, which we're going to do today, we're going to call it a notepad. So we can do like slash notepad, and then add a note, and then like get a note from it, and it will save to this array list, or hash map. And, um, and from that, we can save it to a file and load it from a file. So, first of all, we're going to want to create a hash map, which we're going to store our lists and with an integer and then a string. Now, the integer is going to be the ID of the note, and the string is going to be the actual note itself, and then just call this um, notes or something. So, all the notes that we've got are going to be stored in this here hash map. Now, notice we don't set it equal to anything. I'll explain that in a little bit. So, we're going to make a on enable. Uh, oh my god. Right, public void on enable, like so. Now, in this on enable method, when the server is enabled, we're going to make a, a directory. Um, so we're going to say file directory, so dir equals get data folder. Now, we usually use get data folder for like if we are getting. So this this returns in your in your server folder. You have just a server folder, and then inside that you have plugins, and the data folder is the folder which is the name of your plugin. So in your plugin.yml, you have um, the name of your folder. And that is where your data folder is. So it's in plugins, and then it's this. In this case, it's YouTube. So we're going to check if this directory exists. So if exclamation mark directory exists. So if the directory doesn't exist, then we're going to make the directory. And how we do this is we type if, and then exclamation mark dir dot mk dir. So make directory, and this returns a boolean. So if this is false, it means that it's failed creating a directory. Uh, so we're just going to system out dot print line. Um, could oh my god, I've got it set up in a different way. Could not create the directory. Directory for plugin, and then get and then just add like the plugin name. So get description file. So get description dot get name. So we're getting the name of our plugin. So could not create directory for plugin and the name of our plugin. Like so, I'm just going to move my keyboard so it's like. How we normally have it. Okay, so now we've we've actually got this file, and we know this file definitely exists. We're going to create our or actually set our notes equal to something. So we're going to say notes equal to. Um, actually, no, we're not going to do anything yet. We're going to we're going to check if notes are equal to nothing. So if notes are equal to nothing, so if there's nothing in our notes yet, then we're going to just set our notes equal to a new hash map. A hash map with the types integer and string like so so if our notes and we don't actually need these braces so if our notes aren't is if our notes at the moment which it is because we haven't set it equal to anything so if it equals nothing we're just gonna make it into that okay so we're gonna make two methods now we're gonna call them save and load and they're gonna save and load objects so we're just gonna say public uh, void save and in the parameters we're going to say object o and then file f to where we want to save it to, like that. So in our public void save, it's going to take an object, so it can save any any type of object. So you should know what that is, like integer, hash map, array list, string. And then it's going to save it to a file that we define when we use this method. So we're going to say if exclamation mark f exists. So if our folder doesn't exist, we're going to try, and then obviously catch and make an exception, call it E, and then just print the stack trace for that exception. So we're going to try to create the new file. So f.create new file. So if the file that we've said we want to send the object to doesn't exist, we're going to create that new file. Secondly, now we know that that file definitely exists, we're going to do another try catch statement. So try and catch exception E. Oh my god, apologies. And then just print the stack trace for that. So just make another try and catch. Um, what we could do actually is just remove this brace here, move the first try brace up to the top of our method so we have everything in here in a try and catch statement. So we're going to check if the file exists and if it doesn't exist we're going to create the file otherwise we're just going to go straight to getting the file. So we're going to say try, oh, we've, already, we've already done try, we're going to get an object object um, output stream. So this is an We've done output streams and how to output like strings and bytes and stuff like that. Um, 
So this outputs any object. So we're just gonna call this like oos for object output stream. And he calls a new I'm not even looking at me. New object output stream. And in here we're going to make a new file output stream because it takes an output stream and we are obviously making a file out of this, so we need to make a file output stream. And it's gonna take the file that we're putting out to its parameters, which is the file we defined up here, which definitely exists because we checked that and then we altered it if it didn't. So now we need to say oos dot write I put ood. <laughs> uh, put oos dot write to object. So we're writing an object out, and we're just gonna write o, which is our object that we defined up here. And then we're going to say oos oos dot flush. So if you don't know what flushing is, I can obviously I can read this thing. It flushes the stream, so any buffered output and bytes flush through to the underlying stream. It's basically just it tidies everything. It means that we're not gonna get errors. So we're gonna flush our stream. So get everything out of it and then close our stream. So it, it, it means that no resources can be sent out of this stream anymore, so it's closed. Um, so that's our, our save method. So that's gonna save an object to a file. And now we're going to make a public object. So it's gonna return an object and we're gonna call it load. And then it's going to load from a file that we define. So again, we're going to try and catch because when working with sort of IO stuff in Java, we always have to can I not? Exception e, and then just e. Don't print that trace like so. Um, so in here, we're going to make a object. Am I not allowed to? Okay. Um, where's my keyboard? Just like stopped. Is the control key just like stopped working? Okay, never mind. Um, in our catch, we don't actually want to print the stack trace. We want to just return null because if it has an exception, if there's an exception, then we want it to. Come on, control key. I used too much. Okay, right. <laughs> um, if we uh, make an exception, it's going to throw exceptions every time. That if we try and load this file, it doesn't have anything in it. We just want to return null. So, like so. So then, if we do load the notes and it's null, if we do, if it is null, then it's just going to make a new. It's just going to make a new empty hash map anyway. So in here, we're going to make a object input stream, and we're going to call this OIS for object input stream. And it was a new object input stream. And in here, we're going to take a new file, input stream, and in there, f. So like we did above with the uh, object output stream, now we're making an object input stream. Object input stream. Why? My control key. There we go. Right. So import object input stream, import file input stream, all that stuff. OK. So now we want to make a object, which is going to be our result, the result from whatever we get. And that's going to be ois.readobject, read object. So it's going to read the object that is inside of this file. And it's going to set it equal to the result variable we just defined. Then we're going to say ois.close. So we're going to close the object input stream. And then we're going to return the result, like so. So if this all works fine and we get the object out of the file and it's going to return that object otherwise if it fails somewhere we're just going to return nothing so now this is where our on enable comes into play and we're going to in our on enable we're going to set our notes equal to load because load returns an object and we're going to make a new file and then get data folder and in there we're going to say notes.data dat dat even like so um, and then we need to add a cast to hash map an integer, like so. And then we can always just add suppress warnings for unchecked because we're trying to cast a, you know, a, an object to a hash map. And it might not be a hash map, but obviously we know in this case that it's going to be a hash map. Um, obviously we haven't created notes dot that and stuff yet, but that doesn't matter because otherwise, if that doesn't exist, this is going to throw an exception. If it throws an exception, it returns null. And if this returns null. Then it's just going to make notes into a new a new hash map, like so. So obviously, in our on disable, we want to save this. Uh, we want to save the the notes. So in this, we just say save, and we're going to save the object and notes to a new file, get data folder, and then notes dot data or dat, like so. Obviously, you could the extension could be anything, but we're just going to do date that for data. Okay, so now. We're going to just add, this is actually, this would work, but obviously we're not actually adding anything to the notes. So I'm just going to show you how we're going to do that. Uh, so make our on command, like so. Um, so 
we're going to make it so you obviously you can do it if you're a if you're a console sender. So first of all, our first sort of method, the first if statement is going to be if label, because obviously we're going to have more than one command. If label equals ignore case add note. So if our command is add note, and if the args dot length are less than one, then we want to send the sender a message saying that they've done it wrong <laughs> because we need more arguments. So sender dot send message, and we're going to tell them how to add a note. It's going to be add <laughs> slash add note, and then in here note like that so and then we want to return false return false like so because they've done it wrong so return out this method and don't anything more so at the bottom if we just return uh, true or something for now just to get rid of this big red line that's annoying me um, so we're gonna get their their note so like we last drill string message equals nothing and we're going to loop so for in i equals zero i is less than args dot length i plus plus now last tutorial we did i equals one because we were starting on the on the the next argument but we want to start here this time so everything they add from this point is going to be part of their note so all of the arguments are going to be part of their note so in this loop we want to say message plus equals args at i args i plus the uh, the space at the back like so and then finally we're just going to set message equal to message dot trim so we're going to trim the message so it doesn't have any random spaces anywhere. Like so. So we've got that their message or their note. I guess like we could change this to note. Let's change this to note. Makes more sense, really. Like, there we go. And now we're going to put their uh, message in the note, in our notes. So notes.put. Now the integer is is going to be the ID. And that is going to be the notes.size plus one. So if their note is the first note it's going to have the ID of one so we're only going to start from the ID of, of one and then message or well, not message it was note note there we go I changed it right cool so now we're going to send the sender a message so sender dot send message note note added there we go so they've added their note in like so everything's great and we're going to return true because they did it fine everything is dandy everything is great okay so now we're going to add another if statement. So if our label equals ignore case get notes, so we want to get all of the notes in the uh, the note list. Then we're going to say for in i equals zero, and or actually i equals one because the id starts on on one. So for in i equals one, and we're going to loop until i is less than or equal to the to notes dot length or dot size because it's a hash map. And then we're just gonna add one to the notes every time. And in this, we're gonna say sender dot send message, and then we'll format it like i plus so the the id of the thing plus like a colon, and then plus the notes dot get i. So we're getting the uh, the message associated with the id of the note at the integer that we've currently looped through. So that's gonna be our get note method. And then finally, we're gonna do a clear notes method. So if our label dot equals ignore case clear notes um, then we're going to say notes dot clear and then send the message send the sender a message and say cleared your notes something and now obviously this is going to when we save this when the server is disabled and it's saved the notes won't have anything in it so it's just going to save an empty notes file and then when it's reloaded the notes will still be cleared so it's not like it's going to load up some notes that like weren't there all right so in our plugin dot yml you just want to copy my plugin um, or whatever your package is, whatever your name of your plugin is, and then we have these three commands: add note, get notes, and clear notes. Obviously, these descriptions are just like I never change the description. <laughs> you should, but just for tutorial purposes, I do spend the time doing that. All right, so I guess I'll uh, I'll export this and I'll see you in the game. Okay, so we're in the game. So if we uh if we now do, say like, uh, so let me. Let me add a note. So add note, note. It's gonna say note added, and I could like now view my notes. So get notes, and I oh sorry, I already added a note before. <laughs> let me let me. So if I do, if that's a good example, so clear notes, I cleared all my notes. Now if I do get notes, I have no notes. <laughs> if I add a note, I have a note, and then I get notes. I have my first note. So now if I reload the server, so it's gonna now actually save my notes to this notes dot data file or dat file in our config. Which just contains gibberish, you know, just weird, weird stuff. 
um, that it reads from. And if I do get notes now, it's still going to return my notes. So if I add another note, note two, and then get notes, note two is going to be in there. And if I reload the server, if I look in here, you see that it's now a bit longer <laughs> with note two in it. And if I get my notes, it's still going to be there. So this is this has been sort of like saving and loading files and loading loading those kind of things to uh to files, saving objects and loading objects to files. So thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any issues, comment it down below. If you've got anything you want to discuss with me personally, either go to the bcbrosbucket.com and go and contact me and contact me through there, or email me at ben at the bcbrosbucket.com. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.